local tables can be recursively defined. An ancestor is your parent or an ancestor of your parent. We now have the ability to define an ancestor's table, which contains all ancestor descendant pairs. Assume that we've already created the table of parents, just like we had before. And what we'd like to do is come up with a table of all the ancestors of Herbert, which include Delano, Fillmore, and Eisenhower. How do we do that? Well, we can define a table of all ancestor descendant pairs by declaring an ancestors table with the following two columns as the union of selecting parent child from parents, because your parent is your ancestor, or selecting ancestor child from the join of ancestors and parents, where the parent equals the descendant. So that says your ancestor is the ancestor of your parent. Putting this inside of a with clause in a select statement that asks for all the ancestors of the descendant Herbert will give us Delano, Fillmore, and Eisenhower. Now this is a recursively defined table because you can see that ancestors is built from ancestors. Wow. So what happens here? Well, what the SQL interpreter has to do is find a fixed point of this description, meaning find all rows that would be added based on rows that would be added based on rows that would be added in order to fulfill the requirements of this select statement. So we have a familiar scenario a base case here where we describe some things that are in the table already and then a way to compute a new row from an old row which may involve joining ancestors with something else. Let's look at another example. To create a table with a global name, you need to select the contents of a local table if you want to build a recursive table. So let's say I want odd numbers. That's one and n plus 2 from every n in odds, where here we have a limit to the number of odd numbers we'll select by saying that n is less than 15. Now why do we know the column is named n? It's because of this. This declares the name of the local table and the column, so we don't have to say what the columns are named within these select statements, and we can use n from odds. Now, this does define an odds table, but it's not in the global namespace. Nobody else can refer to it except for this select statement. So the way to give it a global name is to select its columns from the local odds table and create a new table called odds, which is accessible from everywhere. Now what does this recursive select statement actually generate? It generates the following table, where n starts at 1, then has 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. Now it's interesting that this says n is less than 15. Well, the input row's n is less than 15. It says the last input row I'm interested in is 13. And, so that's a filtering on odds, and then we add n plus 2, which is 15, to the table. Here's a question. Which names above can change without affecting the result? I still want to create a table called odds with a column called n that has this contents in it. The answer is that the name of the local table is irrelevant to the output. I didn't have to call this odds. I could have called it anything. But I'd have to change it in all three of these places in order to have the create table statement still work correctly. SQL was not intended as a general programming language. It was intended for the particular case of manipulating data. And so there are some limitations on what kinds of recursion you can use. 
Recursive table definitions are only possible within a with clause. You're not allowed to use mutual recursion. Now some database systems may vary on these requirements, but we're going to give the requirements that are imposed by SQLite since that's the system that we're using in order to run our experiments. So mutual recursion would have two tables defined in terms of each other. That's not allowed. You might imagine defining odds and evens, where odds is x plus 1 for everything in evens, and evens is x plus 1 for everything in odds. This seems reasonable from a logical standpoint, but it just doesn't work. You'll get an error that says that these are defined in terms of each other, and that's not allowed. You're also not allowed tree recursion. The table being defined can only appear once in a from clause. So you can't say I'm defining the integers as 1 and then all the integers m minus 1 and all the integers plus 1. This is not allowed because ints appears twice in two different from clauses. You also can't join ints together with ints. So you might want to do an example that says something like select 1, union select ax plus bx, where ints is joined with ints and given the aliases a and b, that's not allowed either. So there are some limitations to the kinds of recursion you can use. Basically you get one recursive statement where you can only include the table that you're recursing on one time.